I'm just blowing through some research vids while I'm fucking around. Uh, I've got some shit going on around, around town. The windows are getting a little foggy. Just up with the temperature a little bit. Just watch this guy in the white car. He's eating some food. Do your shoot the rounds, man. The two Petersons story, instead of have, calling it a series, I'm thinking about doing a something a little bit better, something a little different than I'm normally doing, and calling it the two Petersons story rather than the two Petersons series. A full documentary, the two Petersons, a full documentary. How about that? Something along those lines. I don't know. Maybe I'm just distracting, being distracted. Uh, I'll keep listening in. But the uh, the Black Peterson has got me very interested and it's bringing back a lot of memories when I was doing the Jordan Peterson series. Jordan Peterson also proven himself to be a connected Freemason, the Illuminati-ish type uh, bullshit artist, right? Um, has uh, his uh, psychology degree. All false shit. All fake ass nonsense. Candace Owens made a series to Candace Owens. Candace Owens also backed up a lot of uh, Jordan Peterson's words, knowledge. I, I, I hate to call it knowledge, uh, ed, education. I guess she backed it up while he was uh, in his prime right because he's starting to he's starting to level out now jordan peterson he was huge before now he's leveled out he's still big but he's leveled out and what she used to do um candace is uh, she used to back him up about his thoughts and everything they're all trump backers and everything um which i never understood so when i was making out the series to both of them now, yesterday, I heard Candace Owens, I was listening to some of her shit, and she's, she's cause some of it's really good. I really like listening to it. And she's easy to look at, too. I, I think she's attractive, so, you know, it's fun to listen to instead of all these uh, big, hairy guys um, talking shit. Um, it's fun to listen to her. They're all liars. It doesn't matter how attractive they are. They're still fucking liars. But um, listening to Candace Owens, uh, the other day, talk about Freud, she had some issues with Freud, sexualizing and um, making psychological assumptions and predictions or it being added, his work being added to our curriculum, right? And brainwashing the, the people in society. The same fucking way, by the way, Candace, that the Bibles, uh, your constitution, um, all your other fucking religions, um, they all, the, the, your Quran, they all do the same fucking thing. They're all brainwashing tools because everything out of the human mouth, everything that drips out of the, out the fingertips of a pen being used by a human, it all lies. Whatever was written, what, whatever is being recorded now in our day of recording, it's also all a lie. How can somebody who's aiming a camera digitally using these cameras to digitally collect the EMNC to show you all that you can all go do the same thing. And here I am telling you in the same breath that I'm uh, using to tell you all this. I'm saying this is all a lie. What does he mean by that? He's telling me, he's telling us that even what he's doing and what he's showing us is also a lie. Yes. There are, it's surrounded by lies. The digital equipment, it's digital collection of electromagnetic nanocarbon. So therefore, the digital collection aspect of it, other than me using my eyes to overlook this camera and see it with my own eyes, then yes, everything to do with this fucking camera is a lie. 
I'm using a filter on there. So therefore my eyes, which have lost contrast over the years, we can discuss in reality and truth about why our eyes have lost contrast over the centuries, the thousands of years, whatever it's been, that we've been losing contrast so that we are not able to break apart the collage that is all around us. Because that's what the true creator's imagery is. It's a huge collage. And it's collage. We can break it all down with our eyes using lights and shadows, angles and distances of perspective, and having to add contrast for our eyes. So we have one lie here, the contrast, because I'm adding um, human influence to this extraction. Then we can get to the digital aspects of the camera, which is, zero one zero one zero zero one zero zero one one but nobody wants to talk about how the fact that a little carbon square is holding all of the information holding memory that is in this cell phone that i'm using right now with these magical magical zero one zero one zero 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 one zero zero one one zero right how the fuck is this tiny little right it's not a it's not like in the old days when things were analog and we could understand them better. We were allowed to understand them better. That's why analog was introduced because it could be hidden. Uh, you know what I mean? The, the, the carbon aspects could be hidden by using analog. I'll give you an example. Reel-to-reel -reel videos, right? Reel-to-reel -reel movies. They didn't call them. I don't even think they called them videos. Yes, they did actually. Projection videos is what I'm referring to. So you have projection photos and projection uh, movies, right? Light shining through plastic. Um, negatives being able to be produced. And we could do it ourselves. We could understand what it was we were doing. Oh, I see. You take a digital uh, explanation of that visual aspect, whatever it is, whether it be the clouds or whatever, and then now you can transfer that, put light through that carbon um, uh, project. Uh, what are we going to call it? We're going to be able to put light, beam of light through it and project it onto another surface, right? Lots of human influence going on. All very analog, all very hands-on. Then we went to the VHS tapes and... Uh, and as far as um, ribbon tape, that's what we'll call it. Um, so we would, then we went to ribbon tape at some point. Now, this all happened very fast. I'm, I'm only going through a certain part of time. Because before that time, there were being records that were out there that were um, being able to copy sound on plastic records that were. Um, so we have a sound collection that was happening. The, the telephone came into play, all this kind of shit. So there was sound and there was visual that was coming into play over the years. I'm trying to fast forward to a time when we got to the um, to the uh, the tapes, the ribbon tapes that were now holding video and sound on a ribbon tape, right? That went into a recorder, right? So we did all this. And we still had an understanding of how it was working. We still could figure it out. Okay, uh, I'll bring you to another one that we could not, we, we were never allowed to really know the deep down workings of it. Because if you did, and if you know the deep down workings of it, and you admit to it, <coughs> then it, you, you would be crushed. You would be crushed as a human being because you, you would be able to see for yourself with your own eyes that everything we've ever heard, learned, thought, taught, program has been a lie. The TV, the television tube, the radio tube, and the television tube, and what they, their capabilities were. We downplayed the digital carbons that were in those television tubes and radio tubes for such a long time. And then now today, we have these little carbon tubes and inset in plastic little piece of carbons that are doing the same thing that reels and reels of tape would have to be applied in order to do the same type of 
data collection, okay? I know it's a lot, and I'm trying to stay with myself as I'm talking. Um, as I'm talking about this shit, I'm trying to stay with myself on topic. So, anyways, we get to this, this time now of digital collection, and here we are, and nobody even has a thought about it. Nobody cares about it. We're told that it's just the technology. The technology is so great. No conversations about the fact that zeros and ones are being used to do to do handle this in, this technology. Terrible for our society. Terrible for our system. Nobody thinks twice about how bad the zero really is because they already seen it for thousands of years, or hundreds at least, um, in their clock, their temperature, their math, their their uh, uh, language, their spelling. Their um, everything has O's, circles, zeros, all of their mythology, everything zeros. Their sun and their moon, they think their sun and their moon are circles. That's how fucked up we are. We think that the earth and that we live on is a ball that is a circular ball. Um, uh, yeah, we're all fucked up. So, uh, how do we fix it other than going and looking at it all, seeing it for yourself? Because if you continue to believe this nonsense that we're propagandized with on every level, doesn't matter how you're divided, it has all been a lie. All of it. So if you want to find the little dibbles and dabbles of truth that were laid out in front of us, because we were offered the truth. We always are. The truth is all around us for us to see it. And even that that phrase gets misconstrued purposely so that when I say those words, it's all around you. You can see it for yourself. You just have to open your eyes and go, look, that that phrase alone has been misinterpreted since biblical times. All science, all math, all medicine, all lies, all of it. They don't tell you nothing about the metellus. They're going to keep selling you the fucking drugs. You're going to continue to be the victims, claiming to be the victors all the time. It's always going to go on like this unless you all go look at what it is I'm showing you. You all can see it. Every day my fucking wife comes home. She looks in that computer. She has. She's having her coffee. My videos are running. She doesn't want to watch them. But her eyes are here, and I'm just using her as an example. She'll be mad at me for doing so. Her eyes will be attracted because on the screen, you cannot deny it. I watch my videos back constantly. What I'm collecting, you can all see. She can see it. And I, I get a fucking rise inside watching you all see it and then still deny it. How the fuck does she go upstairs, go lay down, and go to bed after seeing that? How could she not be waking up throughout the night saying, okay, I want to know. All right, I want to know. Tell me. Show me what the fuck's going on. I really want to know. I mean, what does it take? What does it take? We've had family members die of the lion mama Kona 19, and she's medical industry. She's part of the fucking scam. So what does it take for her to quit her job and, and for us to be poor and just try to go about life being poor? Right, so that we don't have to sell out to this fucking lion ass system. Nope, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Because we have that mirror neuron manipulator. We're able to bypass our mirror neuron as human beings. We have been so in intelligence down rather than saying dumb down. Because that's not what it is. We've all been egotized. I got to make up some new words, man. I got to make up new terminology. We have been egotized. <coughs> Big time. Um, uh, heavy metal and mineral makeup. Just totally fucking with it. What we eat. How much we eat. What we're breathing. What we're drinking. All of it. All comes into play. To make us easier prey. Doing pretty good with my words today. That's a fucking big time rhyme. See if I can remember it. We're easy prey. Easy to play. <laughs> Is that what I said? 
the way it is today. <laughs> Something like that. Oh, my God, man. So, yeah, I mean, thousands of people all around me. Every day I set this camera up. The most I get out of, of it from the public is uh, don't film me. Don't put me on camera. Camera's never on anybody. I have no interest in, in the human species. I really don't. I think there's 7.8 billion zombie slaves, and I don't see any real true hope for a way. Don't you think that sucks for me? I mean, I, I don't ever want to have another relationship with anybody ever again. I don't want, I, mean, I don't see it because um, who the fuck's going to wake up? They're not. Who? Who am I going to meet? What female am I going to meet? Or male for that matter. I mean, not, not in a sexual way, but just somebody to conversate with and relate to. The men are out there claiming that they're so strong and they're so tough and they're all alpha this and alpha that. <laughs> it's so full of shit, man. Because I've shown you motherfuckers the reality of everything. I've shown you this truth to all you tough guys. Oh, Dell from Beyond the Imaginary Curve, he's a tough guy. Brother Sanchez, he's pretty tough. Um, Joe Rogan was called out. Um, Elon Musk was called out during some of the other series that I did. They're, they're tough guys, supposedly. I don't see him uh, out there um, doing anything. See, the thing about those guys are is that anybody coming to my videos is going to think, of course, Elon Musk is not going to get back to you, you douchebag. You're a nobody to him. He's got billions of dollars. Why would he get back? It's not a matter of getting back to me. It's a matter of why are his minions not getting back to me? Why are his minions not coming in and saying something more than you're a fucking idiot, dude? You you don't you don't you uh you don't believe that he went to Mars and flew his uh his Tesla to Mars? Then you're an idiot, dude. Right? Or go back to school and get an education, man. Because if you don't believe that Elon Musk is uh, doing reverse rocketing back down onto his platforms with his CGI fucking rockets. I've seen it myself. You know what I mean? This is what I got to listen to. So those are his minion. So if his minion, the people that are totally, totally brainwashed by him, if they don't have enough confidence in their own fucking science to, to call me out, right? And go on their channels and say, look at this fucking idiot people. Look at to my millions of subscribers to my hundreds of thousands of subscribers, they would say. To my tens of thousands of subscribers, they would say, depending on their situation. They would say, look at this fucking idiot. They would definitely lie about a lot of shit about me, but that's not my point. I don't care about that. The point is, they will not even rank me out. They cannot take the fucking chance that anybody else comes to my channel and sees what it is I'm showing you. That's how big of a deal this is. That's how... I know when I got them by the balls, when I call them out the way that I do, when I put their names in my series and say, it's a Jordan Peterson series, 200 parts of Jordan Peterson series. You don't think that his minion or at some point coming along, they all prove to do so. They all do come along. Um, uh, what's his name? Um, even if it's their enemies, even if their enemies come along, even if it's their anti minion, I got a lot of good terminology today. I got to keep remembering all this, this this when I have good thought process like today. When they're uh, reverse minion, anti-minion, anti that's the word. Even if their anti-minion came along, they rank me out. Like Delete Laws. When I made the series to Delete Laws, I only started the series. I didn't even finish it. I don't, I'm still deciding if I'm going to continue on that, with that series. But he's got his anti-minion coming in and saying shit about me being an idiot. And when I went back and looked at the video that he chimed in on, there's nothing crazy even in that particular video. So I don't know if he's talking about another video that he watched of mine that I'm uh, talking nonsense. And, like that. and then when I went and looked at that dude and seen who he is, he's fucking a real fucking whiz banger. I mean, he's got no reality based anything on his channel. His channel is, uh, I'm not talking to anybody because most people don't even have a high school education. Okay, well, if I'm coming from a place on my channel, then I'm telling you that you want the opposite. You want the anti, 
high school education. You want the anti-college education. You want anti-education in order to have an easier time seeing what it is I'm showing you. So why would you come in wanting to argue with me about being uneducated when I think nothing of your education? It's opposite of that, dumb shit. What a fucking idiot. I mean, I should say, what a genius. I mean, he's a fucking genius. And he admits that on, on his channel, he admits it. I'm a fucking genius. And I don't think anything of any uh, <laughs> fucking anti-education people. People that just see things for what they are and base real reality on reality alone and not on what they've been told, not about what they've been programmed to believe in. <clears throat> yeah, they're the crazy ones. Yeah, we're, we're all nuts. Yeah. And that's why that's his reasoning for not wanting to talk with them. So he chimes in, says what how he feels makes no sense. You know, his his words to me in that comment make no sense for that video that I listened to. So I, so I don't fucking know, man. I don't know. But it's not like I waste a lot of time looking. I just go look at his channel. I see what he's got to say. I look at who his friends are. He doesn't say anything about who his friends are. He, I'm pretty sure he had quite a bit of um, followers, which is another strange thing. Because how can you have subscribers when you're telling human beings not to come in? Don't come in. Don't say anything. I don't allow you to even subscribe to my channel. So who's he got? You have to first be able to prove to him that you have better than a high school education in order to even conversate. How are you going to do that if he's not allowing you in to do that? What are you going to do? I mean, you got to, the only way you could even get in there, you have to give him a bunch of thumbs up, but I don't know how you, maybe if you got comments shut off, then how is people going to even give you a thumbs up or a like or a dislike or anything? They can't because you got your comments shut off. Isn't that correct? I don't know. I don't know enough about YouTube to even know, I guess. Okay, so my guy should be here any time now.
Let's see if I can get him to go to the other 12.30. Let's go see. 